it is a little bit eerie. Now, our friend the hippo who you saw with us a while ago is quite a cheeky old man, not even an old man, just a cheeky man in general. As we decided, you know, you know if we think we're going to go and move off, I kid you not, we reversed about two meters and he thrashed around in the water like a wriggling worm, almost like uh, um, James's beetle was wriggling around. He was doing a similar thing. Uh, as, like I said, they normally get quite playful at this time of the day as the sun comes down. I think he's going to get ready to come out of the water too. So I'm hoping if we sit here for long enough, he is going to thrash about for us. And I have actually have a picture to show you while he has a little nap. Let me show you. I'll bring my camera here. While, one that I quickly managed to snap just to show you how he was thrashing about. Is that all right, David? Just got to make sure we angle it correctly, of course. Look at that. That's what that hippopotamus was doing. How cheeky is he? So we're going to wait for him to do that again so you can all take your own screenshots. How cool is that? Right place at the right time. <laughs> Right, that was cool. So hippopotamus, I've now told everybody about how great you are and you've got the most beautiful teeth. And um, David is some sort of a dentist too and he'd like to examine your mouth. So if you wouldn't mind. Oh, that's rude. That's what he thinks of us, David. You see, he just blew bubbles at us. That was the equivalent of a three-year-old child going, nah, 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 nah. Well, that's what pops to mind when he did that. But let's see, if he starts to mouth the water again, we may get lucky. Oh, hang on. He's starting to stand up now. You see how he's pushed his body up? Before he wasn't standing on his feet. He was just sort of resting on the mud below him. But now he's pushed himself up. Let's see what his next move is going to be. He's very relaxed with us being around here. Which is, yes, 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 here we go. He's wriggling his nostrils. Oh, you beautiful hippo. Thank you very much. Look how sharp those teeth are. Yes, there we go, David. Oh, wasn't that worth the wait. You are the best hippo. You beat Henry. You've, out, you've outdone Henry now. What a lovely boy. And as he raises himself out of the water like this, you can see that he's actually not particularly big. Just look at his body size. He, he looks like an African pygmy hippo at the moment because he's quite staunch, but he's not very long. So he's probably only a couple of years old. The hippos can get much longer than this. <laughs> Here he comes again. I, I think he's now behaving like this because I've called him young and small and he's sort of just showing, I'll show you what I can really do and how strong and big I can actually be. But that was what we were waiting for. So I'm, I'm so glad that he managed to, to do that. I think he's ready for another one. Everybody, smile. Oh, that's beautiful. Now this is typically a threat display when they open their mouths like this, exposing all of their really big teeth. But I don't know if he's quite doing it at us because he doesn't seem to be very agitated by us. Now, Clara, you've actually wondered how big can their teeth get? Well, well over 30 centimeters in length, I could imagine. So about the length of a ruler, if not even bigger as the bulls get a bit bigger. Um, so, but I don't know if you saw, if he opens his mouth again, just have a look how his teeth, how sharp those sort of tusks really are. And it's because they're rubbing up against each other, continuously sharpening them. So when hippo bulls fight, like I said, it's a serious matter. And, and hippos actually come into conflict quite often. You'll get youngsters uh, that think that they're big and strong enough to come in and take on a raft of hippos. And the big bulls often have to sort them out. And it doesn't take much. Those teeth will slice through their flesh as sort of like a butter knife goes through butter type of thing. It's, it's not very difficult. Look again, he's going to do it again. So have a look at those bottom teeth. Look how sharp they are. That is like a knife. That would go straight through you, straight through any amount of metal. You really would not. Oh, and his feet. Look at his feet. We never get to see Hippo's feet. That was cool. Well, this is, I've had such a, I've had so much luck over the last few days with the Hippos and even Byron. We, we've uh, really had them put on a good show for us. I always find it amazing when you get to see a hippo's foot, and like I said, I love it when they roll around like that. So again, he's getting ready, he's getting active, he's relaxed for most of the day now. He's hungry, and hopefully he's, we're going to see him get up and walk out of the water too, because that would be very, very special. Normally, they're not too comfortable to leave the dam while you're there, so what it might take from us is actually to move a bit further away. Let's see how he what he does though if he starts to inch his way towards the bank we'll probably move back 
and just give him a bit of room. We have got this lovely zoom on the camera, so we don't need to be too close to him. Now, Beverly, you were wondering if some of his teeth were broken off. I didn't think so. He looked like he had them all there. However, there are different shapes and sizes and lengths, of course. Um, some of them are a lot nicer than others. If he were to do it now, we could have a really good look down his throat and see if he still had his tonsils. Um, and that's just, of course, when they do fight, uh, and they fight with their mouths open, if they, uh, they're fighting head on, those teeth will clash, very much like an elephant's tusks or a warthog's tusks or even an antelope's horns. They can definitely break and chip away at uh, some of their teeth just from that. Uh, eating wouldn't affect their teeth too much other than wearing them down slightly, but they don't bite the grass off with their teeth. They use their hard inner linings that they have on their lips, so they almost pull it off like that, and then they toss the grass back in their mouth, chew down once or twice, and then swallow it. And what's quite nice is we're able to see that because we have been seeing a lot of this regurgitated grass out on the roads in the morning that the, the hippos have left behind them. Whew. This has been absolutely fantastic. Now, we are going to go off for a short break again. Don't go anywhere. This hippo could toss and turn and expose his teeth and give us a big smile. So stay tuned for the next exciting moment.